Uh, James, please tell us your story. Uh, great. I'm going to tell you a story about an education system in uh, Nebraska. Uh, it's called, uh, it's a school district called Auburn Park. And in the United States, uh, the education system is really the local school district or a charter network or a, a faith-based system, uh, which differs from a lot of countries where the education system is at the national uh, level. And this is a system that uh, several years ago decided that it wanted to radically change the teaching of mathematics in elementary schools. And it wanted to get away from an approach to teaching mathematics that basically focused on procedural knowledge, how to add, subtract, divide, multiply. Uh, and uh, while attending to procedures also help children understand uh, key mathematical concepts, principal mathematical knowledge, and uh, how to argue and uh, engage in mathematics as a process. And uh, they decided to do this um, because they were really concerned about the learning of uh, particular subpopulations of children who by virtue of class or, or race uh, typically had not done well. So the system adopted a, uh, uh, a new curriculum, uh, Investigations Math. And this curriculum uh, actually begins any new mathematical topic by getting children to explore. So if you're introducing fractions, children spend a lot of time at the beginning of that unit uh, playing with different manipulatives to get a sense of what's a fraction before they begin to learn the uh, procedures for adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing fractions. And this was a, a radical change for most teachers in the school system. Uh, the decision was made by the math uh, system level committee, which included uh, uh, representative teachers from each building in the uh, school district. There were 14 elementary school district, uh, elementary uh, schools and the curriculum director. Um, not everybody on the committee agreed, but for the most part, the majority felt that this was the best change. And then of course the system uh, uh, rather than just saying, here's the curriculum, go do it, or rather than just saying, here's the curriculum, we're going to have a, a week-long professional development, go do it. The system really, uh, the, the curriculum director and this group of teachers, with the backing of the superintendent, said, well, we're really going to have to support this transformation because it, it will require a major change in how most teachers teach mathematics. Um, and so they invested in building uh, a new set of structures. I, I like to think about this as an infrastructure for supporting mathematics teaching. And uh, part of that was the new curriculum. Part of that was uh, professional development on how to teach the new curriculum. But it also included a variety of other things. They um, invested in uh, professional development for teacher leaders for mathematics. Um, uh, this basically was the equivalent of uh, the, uh, a master's program in mathematics, mathematics teaching, educational leadership, uh, early child development. And what they did was the curriculum director spoke with uh, principals from each school and said, who would be a good person that we could invest in for this program? So it wasn't like you volunteered and you got to do it. They really thought about who's already a leader, who's good at teaching math. And uh, then some of these people went back to their, well, they never left their schools. They did this at night, uh, but some became, they continued to teach full time, but they became the teacher leader for mathematics in their building. Others became actually either half-time or full-time math coaches in their buildings. There weren't very many of those. Um, at the same time, the system, uh, began to invest in uh, a set of routines uh, that were central to supporting teachers uh, in their daily teaching. So there were already great team meetings for half an hour each week. Those great team meetings devoted part of their time to mathematics. They also created another routine that met for half an hour each week, which was the professional learning community routine, basically every week teachers at the same grade, grade level sat down, 
to talk about their teaching and its improvement. And once a month, uh, every four weeks, they were de to devote one of those sessions to mathematics. And uh, the coaches and the math teacher leaders were resources for this work that was happening at each grade level. And of course, the math uh, mathematics committee, the system-wide committee continued to meet, but now having selected a, um, a uh, curriculum, instead began to focus on how do we support teachers as they try and implement this curriculum. And because there was representatives on this system level committee from each building, they began to hear stories, oh, teachers are struggling with this. What should I do to help them? So there was communication. And then these people went back to their schools and said, how about we try this? So there was two-way communication. Uh, there was communication from the school up to the system level committee where this group of people began to say, oh, this we have a challenge here. How are we going to address it? And people on this committee said, well, we're doing this over here, or have you thought about doing this other thing? Uh, this two-way communication was very critical uh, to these change efforts. It is also important to point out, though, that the school principals in these buildings uh, were very much engaged in supporting these efforts. So principals in these schools would tell you about uh, attending uh, these grade level meetings or these professional learning community meetings. And uh, they would tell you about while uh, observing and noting which teams were working well, which were not. When the teams began to work well, they began to withdraw and not attend as often, but still attended for grade levels that were not working very well in an effort to support them, in an effort to ensure that the time was being spent in productive ways. Um, I think it's also important that to point out in this transformation story that the curriculum itself, and in particular teachers' efforts to put the curriculum, the new curriculum into practice, created a whole set of challenges that meant that teachers could not go on as normal because the new practice was quite different to everything they knew about teaching math. So that meant that it created uh, an incentive and a reason for them to go talk to colleagues. Oh, I tried this out, but I'm not sure it's right, or it didn't work, why? And this created really rich opportunities for because everybody was doing the same curriculum, the same units. This created really rich opportunities for teachers to really focus in on something very concrete, but also something that was fundamentally about the nature of mathematics and the nature of teaching mathematics. So the curriculum provided an anchor, if you will, an anchor that focused and framed the sorts of conversations that teachers in a grade level were able to have, uh, and also created dissonance. Uh, it it uh, created problems that uh, teachers had to resolve, but fortunately, they didn't have to resolve them in their own. They were able to get the help of others through the grade level meetings, through the professional learning community meetings, and with the support of the teacher leaders and the coaches in order to figure out what was going on here. Teachers would tell you things like that they uh, not only learned about um, uh, new ideas from these interactions about the nature of teaching, but also about the nature of mathematics itself. And also teachers, uh, not only, uh, teachers also graded uh, kids' work together. Uh, the, the district created new district assessments to reflect the new curriculum. And there are some vivid accounts of teachers talking about, well, we looked at our, we double graded kids' work and you know somebody was, uh, I thought this was a really, not a very good answer, but somebody else said, well, you see they, they, even though they don't get the right answer, they do explain what they were doing and why, and that's actually right. So the notion of what counts as quality mathematical uh, teaching was also something that they began to deliberate and learn.